I dropped the classic, shot the visual to every track They thought it was a fluke and so I ran it back I'm winning in fact, just go and check the stats Earn my respect this time Alright, so man Coming off King's testimony one You know what I'm saying, I was asked By a lot of people Like how do you follow up After a project Like that So, you know uh, I had to, you know I, I, got, I, got in a, I got in creative mode When I finally got in creative mode I knew that Certain records that was on King's Testimony 1 and the whole tone of King's Testimony 1 was something that I, it, w it was gonna be a tough act to follow, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't wanna go into it trying to match it. I wouldn't, first of all, I didn't even wanna know if I wanted to call it King's Testimony 2 because, you know, I didn't want it to be in the shadow of King's Testimony 1, and I set myself up for people to be overcritical okay. on the judgment. Yeah. You know, so we actually called this one King's Testimony 2, the coronation. You know, the coronation being the crowning ceremony, you know, because right now I'm at a better place in my life, you know, so now I'm more walking in that role. You know, King's Testimony 1 was a winner album, you know, an album that you kind of had that time, it was during COVID, you know, and the whole pandemic when everybody was on lockdown. So it was more, the, the tone of it was more of a sit still and listen type of type of vibe. You know, King's Testimony to the Coronation, it's more upbeat, you know, it's more of a, a summertime vibe, you know? So that's, the, that's basically, that's basically, where we at with it. I chose to go with Will Brown to do the whole project, you know, this time because he did half of King's Testimony once, sir. you know, and it was uh, combined with him and DJ Payne once. But this time I just wanted to make it more personal, just me, me, and, me and Ill, you know what I'm saying, just go in and do a whole, do actually produce a whole album together. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. You know, uh, coming off coming off the back end of King's testimony one, uh, you know, like CA come to the lab and uh, you know it's like I need I need certain kind of records to fill in the gaps and uh, you know I got these concepts and then you know we were able to you know sonically find sign, find those records you know what I mean and uh, King of course King's testimony one is, is dope it's a masterpiece but uh, King's King's uh, testimony two is more intimate man because me and Bro. You know, we literally sat down every time, you know, picking out the beats, evaluating the records, you know what I mean? Uh, kind of put you in the, in the mindset of uh, those, those, you know, those legendary joints, man. The one MC, one producer joints like, you know, Guru and Premier, Pete Rock, CL Smooth, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Dre so, and Snoop. Dre and Snoop, you know what I mean? So, you got that element and, and, it, and it shows in the music because you can, you can literally tell like every record is well thought out. We both had to agree on it, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and it was, it was it's a lot of stuff where we were like, man, I think this would work for the project and make the project. There's a lot of stuff that I was like, yo, we should do this here. Or, you know, you know, maybe this song needs some extra instrumentation or something. And we, you know, we agreed on it, or sometimes we didn't agree on it, but that's the beauty, you know, the, the creation process, man. Like. You know, getting to the point where everything is cohesive, because you know, if, if you were around a bunch of yes man, and like, oh yeah, it's dope, oh yeah, it's dope, then you put it out, people be telling you like, man, what are y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? So it, it had to, you know, the, throughout the creation process, it had to make it through through our critique, our criticism of, of each record. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, certain songs we got what five, six different mix downs for for song. I think, right. You know what I mean? It's like, and I need to re-record this verse. Nah, man, like, we need to change this arrangement up here for the chorus of all type of stuff, man. So this album is definitely more uh, more intimate. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's King's Testimony 1? You know, bro was like, you know, making a proclamation like, yo, you know, I'm coming out of, a, you know, a, you know, I'm, I'm healing a lot of, you know, past traumas and situations and things that I'm addressing. The coronation is like, we made it over the hump. This is the celebration, and let me give you the game for 
for, you know, all the other aspiring kings to get to this level too. Nice. You know what I mean? It's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of celebratory records, a lot of uplifting, you know, records that, you know, you know, we put, you know, big homie shit. We giving you the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and, and I think that's the most valuable thing, you know, big homies could do is put the younger generation or hell, even your peers, put them on game. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you listen to King's testimony too. It's an educational piece. You know what I'm saying?